Good morning. We are getting a late start today on Half Moon Road. We're going to be heading up to French Mountain, Frasco and Casco Peak, a triple 13er day. So looking forward to that. As you may have noticed, the parking area is hugely crowded here and the road is closed. They are rebuilding that for better access. I guess there was a lot of uh, stuck vehicles and then huge four-wheeler traffic jams. But anyway, we're going to cruise on up the road on bike and get ourselves to the base of the climb. And that should be right at Iron Mike's Mine. So we've got some cool stuff coming up today and we will see you up there. Right past the turnoff, you have a significant creek crossing. Even in late August, I'd say it was over a foot deep. And then it really gets rough. thinking this is last call. Well, I've got the bike stashed, perfect spot. There's a pretty little bench kind of highlighted with reddish tundra. That'll be a perfect descent route after I bag my final peak. Suddenly this route up Brasco looks pretty exciting. I'd say that's got my name all over it. Check that out. Perfect little staircase heading right on up. That's a can do for sure. Wow, those were nice. Now we got some other interesting stuff. Definitely sweet. We're getting about two thirds of the way up the ridge. It was much faster and easier than expected. I'll have to admit, this is definitely gonna be a lighter weight adventure. Although we will be hitting three 13ers and French Mountain, the highest is almost 14. Ooh, spicier than anticipated. Pleasantly surprised with some engaging class two scrambling here. Relatively easy, but really scenic and nice. Relatively stable as well. So I'm pretty pleased, that's for sure. The backdrop is great as well. So this thing's just been getting better and better. I wasn't sure how exciting it would be, but this works for me.
fun little section. Okay, we're on French Mountain now, 13,900 some feet. And there's lots of interesting views, beautiful valley down there. That's the main Half Moon Road and a huge mine as well, the Champion Mine. I'm thinking about doing that adventure next and that actually goes to the left behind that big outcropping where you can see the road and Champion Mountain is kind of that just brown bald guy. We are just leaving the summit of French Mountain there in the background and I am going to kind of side hill across a few of these humps, I guess for Casco in particular, make some good time. There is a good little trail right here too. That's what really convinced me. I generally don't like the side hill, but as you can see, this trail is not bad. So this works, a little bypass. Alrighty then, we are making short work of this side hill. I am not going to tell you it was super pleasant. There was definitely one section back there behind me that was pure loose rock and I got myself a little scratch, but mostly it hasn't been bad and I feel like I'm moving pretty fast. So I'm going to say heck yeah. Super sweet, yo. All right. I have just about completed the backtrack across the side hill as well as the ridge at the end i'm on the ridge now and it was cool it uh went faster than expected thank goodness the side hill was definitely fairly friendly oh uh, fairly there was one strip of bad loose and then here's our ultimate objective casco peak and down to the left was our original ascent route i'm going to call that fiasco ridge Hey, there is one important piece of beta that I definitely want to share with you. You want to traverse across the west side of the saddle between Casco and Frasco Mountain. That is key. It's really loose, but particularly heading south, it was pretty quick and easy, and I don't plan on coming back this way, so really not much of a problem. But if there was one piece of beta that you want to know, it would definitely be stay low as you traverse to the saddle toward Casco Peak. We are moving between two thirds and three quarters of the way up Casco Peak now. And it feels pretty good. It feels a little less loose and faster actually than French Mountain, I would say. So pleased with that. Progress is going well. Did feel tired after that side hill, but somehow I feel a little better now. And this ridge is really cool. Lots of Incredible views, for sure. Okay. 
remember I still beat you. Well, that ought to do it. Casco is a done deal. We are up here at around 13.7. More beautiful views. It is like 4 p.m., so I definitely need to get my butt out of here. I uh, put in a lot of extra time. I'm trying to get some nice shots. I hope you enjoy them. Just a quick rundown. That is where we came, Casco Peak. Right up that uh, shadowed area there. And then we are going to go down this way on this ridge line, and then we're going to traverse left onto a bench. And that ought to do it. We'll see you down there. This is going great. Well, wouldn't you know it, that is sure going to make life easy right where I left her. Beautiful thing.